Hello everybody and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play. Since last episode, I have spent hours at the mob farm. And I've uh, grinded out insane amounts of XP. Uh, filled up a chest and a half, well probably a chest of books. But we used a ton of them. Our anvil is almost worn out. Uh, it's not quite, it's probably, it's probably over halfway though. And um, I even had to like go slaughter a lot of my cows to get enough. But we have ridiculously enchanted armor and weapons but we got I enchanted the armor itself and then added books so some of the things are out of order it should be high number to low number so that you can add more enchantments but and we got fire protection on our uh, head and feet but then I added a lot of boots to them to make them uh, a bit better we still don't have unbreaking on the helmet but the helmet isn't fantastic anyway fire protections good but I'm fairly certain Fire Protection 4 on its own is enough for uh, is enough for most things. Now today we will be fighting the Ender Dragon. I have decided so. We have uh, quite a few potions. We're gonna have nine um, nine instant healing potions uh, because it's pretty cheap. I believe it's this. Oh no! Is it surrounding? A melon with with these to make a glistening oh it is so it's a lot more gold than I thought it was but that's okay we don't use our gold for much anyway so it's let's do um, yeah that should be enough we want two more of these because we're gonna try to get nine nine of these potions and that should be enough okay so now we want nether wart and then we're going to do melon and then I think it's instant health so we want potency so we will put glowstone in it if I can remember where I put my glowstone should only need three because we can do sets of three we can put up our gold and our our little gold ingots now uh, I do also want to make though while that's going two golden apples for uh, regeneration and uh, like super defense you know how you do and I placed one ender chest here we're taking one with us because the worst case scenario is dump all of our stuff before we die uh, but hopefully it won't come to that and we also want to take at least three or four stacks of cobble um, because I know there's towers now that have uh, protection around them you can't just shoot them all I actually honestly don't think we have enough arrows but we're gonna freaking do it and we will get it done and we'll get over it apparently it takes blaze powder to brew now but I thought it would take more at least I have a crap load of blaze rods from our farm but I will finish this and then I'll be back when we're heading to the nether because I finished at least the rail and we're gonna pray that we don't get shot on the way okay there was one thing I forgot to show off was the sword actually that was got surprisingly good enchantments I enchanted it and it immediately got sharpness 4 and unbreaking 2 and that was just from a level 30 uh, like 3 level pay and 3 lapis pay and then I put my sweeping edge 3 enchantment on it and then later I got a fire aspect 2 and I've actually had to repair this pick many times already just double checking making sure we have everything we need we need more food just in case just in case you know uh, let's take the stack of 15 cooked pork chops and I realized that if we do have to place the, uh, if we do have to place, um, our chest, we won't, oh no, where did my minecart go? Uh, I'm gonna find my minecart. Okay, we're ready. Uh, let's get everything in place. Let's go. Hopefully, okay, it took us the right way. Thank goodness we didn't immediately have a malfunction. But uh, it took a surprisingly long time to lay this track, and I'm quickly thinking that maybe a track was a bad idea, especially the my plan of uh, making like walls all around it may not go so well, because that is a lot of track to lay. And our one interpearl is for it's, well, it's, for one, it's our last interpearl, <laughs> but its primary purpose is uh, just in case our spawn is um, I don't know where we want to leave that actually 
Shit, I don't have wood. Should I... I should probably take some wood with me. Actually, what would I need to make wood for? I mean, what would I need to do with wood, honestly? The end doesn't really need to be lit. So... No biggie? Question mark? I don't think it should matter. We have 12 minutes left. I really don't know if I can kill the Ender Dragon in under 12 minutes, but... With this sword, it's very possible. Okay, now... Really weird thing here. I dug up to get out of, uh... Out of our little hole that was there. And... Up above our fort, our stronghold is actually a little village. It was a really nice surprise. So I blocked in whoever I could find that was still alive. Um, surprisingly low amount of people still alive. And I think this is the... Yeah, okay, this is the way. It's down this way, into the ravine a little ways, and then just a quick right. And oh man, I haven't fought the Ender Dragon in so long. Oof, let's do this. Oh, baby. Okay, we're on the end. Praise the Lord. Okay, there he is. There she is. Who knows? Um, shit, I already looked at an Enderman. That's what I forgot to bring! Okay, I need to get far away from the edge. Far, far away from the edge. Okay, now... I need to keep an eye on it, because if I remember right, as long as you look at it... I don't think it can charge you, and I don't want it to charge me until after I shoot out all of these. Ow. Okay, so it throws potions, like lasting potions now. Um, I hit it, but it didn't really do anything. Ah! Purple fireballs. Pretty cool. Uh, we need to get these freaking towers gone. That one's a much higher shot. Uh, you gonna try to charge me, bruh? Let's do this. Let's tango. Okay, I need to spin these arrows quickly and get rid of his stupid healing. Okay, those ones are gonna suck. Okay, you cannot hit that. Note to self. Hitting that is not available option. Okay, there's one over there that I missed. Thankfully, there's, like, not many Endermen up here on this little plateau. Uh, from my experience, my ends were freaking covered in... Coming down here to what? What are you doing? Hey! Did he summon this guy to fight me, or...? Oh, and I set him on fire so that they, they teleport randomly. That's kind of annoying. Okay, can I hit him while he's down here? Okay, you can. However, it doesn't do much when he's healing this fast. Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay. He's like blowing fire, I guess. That's annoying. Uh, I need to not look at Enderman anymore. I don't know if he's stuck. Is he stuck? Or is this just like supposed to give me a, ch a chance to... To shoot the towers. Let's go up and shoot this tower. Shall we? Guess we're just gonna chill. Okay. Okay, so if I remember right, as long as you look at them, look at him, uh, he will not charge you. And I don't know if that is still the case or what, but these towers are going to be exceedingly difficult with his stupid fireball shit. But we do have uh, Feather Falling 3. So that should make this a bit more... a bit easier. Shit! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, it's gonna be real annoying to get, though. I'm probably going to... You know what? I'm just gonna cut while I destroy the towers. And we'll come back when we, uh, when we get to fighting him, actually. Ow. Okay, so that was the last one, and these guys are angry at the dragon? Which is, like, real confusing. That one looked at me, and I was kind of scared, and damn, that's loud. Enderman, stop. Uh, I can't tell you how freaking annoying the cage things are, because, like, holy shit. They're so stupid. Okay, so... Apparently you can shield block those, but they still go off, and those 
Those things are some severe damage. Like, seriously. Even through this armor, it's like... Two hearts, a tick, or something like that. I need him to land, so... Guess I'll stop looking at him. Keep him on the edge of my screen or something. Come on, dude. Okay, is he coming down? No. I need you to land. Okay, this one's definitely mad at me. Okay. Okay. Dragon's down. Dragon's down. Okay, we can get him. This is the easy bit now. I have to jump to hit him now? That's kind of annoying. Oh, he's... Easy. I was gonna say easy peasy, but holy shit, that tail flick. My goodness. I need to, like... I'm gonna eat an apple. Oh, man, that's nice. That is some nice stuff. Mmm. That absorption, though. Two absorption hearts. That's so nice. Ow. That fire hurts, man. Okay, let's see. I guess that's supposed to be him blowing fire? Like his ender fire, I guess? He's gonna hold space and click. And we're just gonna see if we can get him to half. Ah! Hey! I have a couple arrows left. Fool! Get back here! Hey, I got him! That was not bad! My bow doesn't actually do that much damage, though, in comparison to my sword. But, uh, if I had a lot of arrows, we could take this guy down much faster. So I wouldn't have to rely solely... Okay, you cannot shoot those, apparently. That scared me. They're just after... Uh, big boy, though. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna... Okay. He's gonna chill out. See? Oh, that wing flap, though. Is that what that's supposed to be? Maybe it's the wing flap. That's understandable, right? wing flap, it's like blowing everything back and flinging people and mobs everywhere and holy shit, the ender sounds are loud. Okay, we're so close. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, don't you dare. Don't do this to me. Bitch, I will kill you. Okay, we need an instant health potion and a food. Okay. Can I get him with the bow? I really doubt it. Ah, and didn't continue course. Whoa! Okay, that last shot actually did. I wonder if the head actually takes more damage. Don't look at me. Sweet! Oh man, the nostalgia. I remember when the Ender Dragon first came out, and uh, oh man, my brother and I, that was, we spent hours. <laughs> it was glorious. Oh man, that is a fantastic amount of XP. I don't remember it being this much. I remember it being like 40 levels or so, 40-ish. Okay, so I can go back freely now. Uh, I must have thrown some glass bottles away or something. Uh, I can go back freely now, or we can continue on and try to go to the uh, the islands. But first. We need some ender pearls. Actually, that fight did not take long at all after we got the damn towers down. The towers took me so freaking long. It's just so stupid. Let's make us like that's big enough. That's that's good. Okay. Now it's time to piss things off. And it's gonna get real loud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. You're gonna wanna turn that sound down. It's going to get real loud, real fast. Just got to look him in the face. And, uh... And I need your pearls, my friends. Oh, man. That one shot, though. That sweeping edge three. Oh, man. We got a stack. Eight! We got seven. That fast. Seven ender pearls. We need to, uh, I actually need to make a ender farm for XP, and, yeah, I don't know if I should, uh, continue on or not. I don't think there's anything to be worried about continuing on, other than falling to our doom, which is quite concerning, but I'm fairly confident that I can fight shulkers, 
uh, the things on the Ender Islands. I hear a weird glitchy sound, maybe? So that's actually, oh, one of them teleported and died from the fire. Oh, many of them did, apparently. Or actually, maybe that was the dragon throwing him. Could have been the dragon throwing them. Uh, that's actually our portal to get to the Ender Islands that are, I mean, you can get to them from here. You can just block out if you want to block out a thousand blocks. But, uh, can you mine this? Okay, you still can't mine that. Uh, you have to piston that to get that off. But you can actually resummon the Ender Dragon now, which is not a bad idea for experience. We have two minutes left. Uh, let's go. Let's go check out the uh, check out the little islands. Who knows? Maybe we're lucky and we have um, we have like a really nice spawn over there. <clears throat> I don't. I think I want to build these three wide. Just to be safe. Okay, it is overground. Never mind. Doesn't matter. We'll build it one. Screw it. I'm gonna need more than that though. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it. Uh, it's pretty freaking high. Damn, man. Could you have spawned a little closer? Goodness. It's like you're pretty far away. I think it's supposed to spawn. I thought it was supposed to spawn over void. At least it would make sense to, like, you know, continually endanger the player, as the end tends to do. But, yeah, it's, uh, pretty damn far away. Still. Oh, we got, like, a nice beacon. What the heck? Wait, was that actually a beacon? What? Weird. Okay. I want like a nice little platform around this so I don't die on the return. Because I'm fairly certain when you throw an ender ball or an uh, ender pearl through, ender ball. <laughs> when you throw an ender pearl through, uh, I don't know if it keeps its momentum or if it just spawns you near the portal. But either way, if it keeps its momentum, I'm fucked anyway if it goes over the edge. But. <laughs> Uh, if it doesn't, if it just spawns you near, this should keep us safe enough. And, uh, need just a little bit more. There goes my timer, but I want to see these Ender Islands this episode. And I may go ahead and find, explore it a bit off camera. Find that some nice fortress to go through next episode, but let's see, shall we? Actually, I want to throw it towards the island just in case it glitches. That was cool. Ah! Oh, it disappeared. Oh, no, it's still there. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. I don't see... Actually, I saw a beacon in that direction, so I'm going to go that way <laughs> off camera. But this is pretty damn cool. These are the chorus fruit that make the purple blocks and stuff like that. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, because it really does help out. Until next time, have a nice day, and I'll see you later. Well, the first one I found isn't anything to write home about, so maybe we'll skip this bit.